Ah, gold pipe. Nice. Alright, so this this part, I'm gonna be real, is very hard not to just fall in the hole. Because if you fall in that hole, you're just dead. You gotta kinda You can't you don't really get any hang time as Mario either. You get a couple extra one-ups out of it. It's kinda do you wanna <laughs> Could you accidentally, like, lose a life trying to gain more with the coins, which, uh, to be honest, I have before. <laughs> it's really hard not to at that spot, man. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Nuke, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. We're going to try to finish off World 1 today, and time permitting, we're going to get started on World 2. First things first, we're going to start World 1-5. We got going on here. All oh, right, I forgot about the switches. Who's the Mario game? I don't know which one it was. Not even Galaxy, where they had these switches as well. But like in Galaxy, if you're on a switch like this and you jump, it won't it won't change. You have to like physically move off of the tile to a different tile. But here it's just like nope, you're gonna. You jump and you change it, which is definitely makes it a little bit more interesting. To think about your jumps a little bit more than not at all. Granted, I'm not the best at, but we're gonna give it a shot here. Oh god, the bees! Not the bees! Okay, we're fine. Not <laughs> that in real life. Like, if I, if I ever like open up a door and there's just like a swarm of bees there, I'd be absolutely terrified. I hate bees so much. <laughs> You're like, ah! I will run away screaming, I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> Anything that can fly and harm me at the same time, I was like, nope. I want no part of you, thank you very much. I don't think I've missed anything yet. I think the stamp is up here? No, that's a... a green star. I don't remember where the stamp is, honestly. I don't need a fire flower for this. Who needs fire when you got claws? I mean, granted, firepower is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not used to green stars and stuff being like right there in the path for me to just grab. I'm used to in game where the Game is basically malicious. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on now. There we go. Oh, there's a stamp. For some reason, I thought I had gotten that already. There we go. So we, we had done most of World 1 already, so there's not much left to do. Uh, but before we go to the castle, let's say hi to Captain Toad. I've never done this level with motion controls, so let's see how... So these, these levels are a little bit different from the rest of the game. We get Captain Toad. Guide him safely through the course and search for all five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Captain Toad can't jump, so yeah, you gotta... More of a puzzle game than anything. Which I've... I I'm assuming Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a lot like this. Or it's pretty much just this. I've never played it, though. Never had the chance to. I'd like to, though. I figured it'd probably be fun. Let's see, let's see. And you kind of get just complete rotational control over the camera, which is neat. I feel like I've played levels like this before in a different video game, but I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I haven't, I don't know. <laughs> One of those, if I have, it's probably been so long I don't even remember. 
But it's an easy five green stars either way. And for the most part, except for the very last one, I don't think there's any stamps in the Captain Toad levels. Alright. Need ten green stars to get into the castle, but we got more than twice that, so we're good to go. Bowser's Highway Showdown. I always thought the... I'll talk about it more when we get there, but I always thought the Bowser fight in this castle was weird. Let's do it. Coins. Eight, four, five, six, seven. Nothing to it. Ah, time. Wow, so glad I did that for ten seconds. <laughs> Please give me like a thirty or something, come on. Went out of my way here. I do like whacking the, the soccer balls though. Just the little kitty cat. I think that's kind of a, a fun mechanic. They they did base the boss around that mechanic, but it still just was kind of odd. Thought. Just me personally. Uh, that might go a little bit better if I set it up all the way. There we go. What's in here? Thirty coins. We'll take it. Pretty sick move right there, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Mushroom I don't want or need. Alright, Bowser, what's up? Yeah, you just fight him when he's in the back of a car, and I'm just like, why? He's not even the back of the car. I thought he, he used, I used to think he was on, like, a seat like the back seat of the car but now that's a that is a one person vehicle right there that is a one one koopa transport that he's riding in but yeah this is the whole fight he throws bombs at you and you just whack them back at him he's gonna spit some fire at me too but I don't, I don't think how far you go along the track makes a difference as to when he attacks you. I think it's just a time thing. Like, why didn't... He had the opportunity to just do so much more with that car. He put a turret on it or something. I have a hammer bro in the back just throwing stuff at me. So much wasted potential there, Bowser. Oh. You know, wasted potential. Yeah, get out of here. Bye bye. <laughs> Why did, did lava down there? Ah, it's just water. Ah, well, whatever. Bowser's weird like that, so we let him fly off in the distance on the smoke trail whenever he, whenever he darn well feels like it. What's up, fairy girl? I'm sorry. Is it uh, Sprixy? I know if you look at the world map, it says we're in the Sprixie Kingdom, so is that what you are? Sprixie? A race in Mario we will never see again? <laughs> I think that's all of World 1. I'm gonna go back and one world one two is the only level I know where the um, secret goal is, but I'm gonna go ahead and show that off here. All right. 
pipe to world two, which we're not going to use. We're going to take the, the secret way, even though there's no point now, but it's not about whether or not there's a point. It's about whether or not we're having fun. That's what the point is. But do be the point of Vigi games is just having fun. Can remember where it is. I know I I kind of pointed it out last time, but I've slept since then. <laughs> I only had time for one video last session. Uh, no, there's nothing up there. Ooh, what up? Thank you. Trying to up here? I don't think it's up here now. Huh, maybe. Hmm. I know it's not that way. It's the way to the golden pipe. Which I'm not gonna bother with right now. See, I didn't mean to go down there, but I'll take a few extra coins. Ooh, I think it's up here. Yeah, here we go. Had I done that last time, it would have taken me all the way past World 1. And pop! Straight to World 2. I'm sure there's one of those in every world, but I have no idea where any of the rest of them are. In world 2, we have these little houses here. These are just stamp houses, though. Bonk. Not that we don't need stamps, though. Thank you for your contribution to my efforts. Much appreciated. Can yeah, Starting to run out of time in this episode, but we'll go ahead and we'll start World 2. Get a taste of it. Before we end the episode. The screen starts pretty easy to get. Most of this game, if you can't already tell, is a lot easier to navigate with the cat suit. The, the Tanuki suit also kind of really makes things a lot more accessible as well. Ah, gold pipe. Nice. Alright, so this, this part, I'm going to be real, is very hard not to just fall in the hole. Because if you fall in that hole, you're just dead. You gotta kind of... You, you don't really get any hang time as Mario either. You get a couple extra one-ups out of it. It's kind of... do you want to... <laughs> Ow. Could you accidentally, like, lose a life trying to gain more with the coins, which, uh... To be honest, I have before. <laughs> it's really hard not to at that spot, man. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else over in this section of the map, so... Keep going. I don't believe there's anything up there. I don't want the... I don't want the items. I'm happy with my cat suit. Oh. Use you. Wait. Just gotta remember... I remember where the green stars are in this level. I don't remember where the stamp is. Yeah, that one you gotta have the... Have the enemy break it open for you. Yeah, 100 seconds. And this is something that, uh, I don't remember if I talked about this in a previous episode, but in, uh, in 3D World and also in, like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. U, if there's a box with a bunch of coins in it, you can just ground pound it and just hold the crouch button. Just ground pound it really quick. You don't have to jump a whole bunch of times. Wait. 
all the coins out of this that I can. Okay. Quite a few lives this level. What's up, Captain Toad? Thanks, sir. And the stamp. God, I'm not used to stuff not being hidden. <laughs> Not, uh, sadistically hidden, I should say. Alright, cool beans. And to just re to readdress the warp pipes real quick, like the world skips, I don't know if I said it, I probably did. But in case I didn't, I'm, even if I knew where they were, I probably wouldn't be using them, because I am going to go through every level, so. Use amiibo during it. I don't have any amiibos. Well, no, that's a lie. I have one amiibo. I have the, uh, Twilight Princess amiibo that came with, like, the Wii U version. It's like Wolf Link and Midna. I don't know if it's going to do me any good here, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll Google that later. But, anyway, for now, we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and let me know. Comment what you're thinking about the game so far. And subscribe for more of this coming your way very soon. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.